Hello my loves, I hope you're all well. Before we start, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and I just want to thank them for consistently supporting this channel and allowing me to keep doing what I do. This actually wasn't the video I had planned for today, but I stepped on my hard drive and amongst so many other things, I lost a ton of footage for you guys. I'm not even going to think about the rest of the stuff on that hard drive because I'm still very much in denial about that, but hopefully this little video will do for now. Little being the operative word here because I am starting a series of little house drawings. If you saw my latest video of the paper unboxing, you'll have seen that I got five of these dinky little bamboo paper sketches and I've been so excited to try them out with a collection of little themed drawings. So of course, my first go-to has to be houses. I'll probably fill one up with little landscapes and then I'm not sure what I'll do for the other three. What do you guys think? Working on this scale is a great fun way to get some practice in and I think the collection of drawings at the end might make a nice little series of mini zines maybe? And yes, I am aware of how many times I have said little so far in this video, oh my god. Um, this paper is lovely by the way, the paint responds to it so... Uh, I can't even describe it, it's like so calm and perfect. And the paint I'm using is the limited palette of Daniel Smith watercolours that I bought. I struggled a bit with them at first, not gonna lie, just because of the limited number of colours that I have. But over time I have figured a few like good mixing combinations and I think the colour combos in themselves just kind of lend their own kind of look to a piece. The pen I'm using is the Winsor & Newton Fineliner and I will, as always, have info on everything listed in the description below. Anyway, I just wanted to talk really briefly today about not feeling like a proper artist. <laughs> it's something that I get asked about quite a bit, just like comparing yourself to others and always seeing yourself, I guess, like as an amateur, almost even being embarrassed to be in any kind of art space, whether, you know, it's just in class or out in the world or online, just that kind of imposter syndrome of thinking that anyone that knows anything about art, especially the fellow artists around you, will see right through you and will maybe even be like scoffing or rolling their eyes at your attempts to be one of them. I felt it here and there. My usual thing is like thinking if I were a real artist, then you know, I'd have a proper consistent body of work to show for it or I'd make art every single day and I wouldn't have days where I don't want to make art. But there are a handful of ways that I consistently am able to tackle that feeling. The first is just to recognise that any feelings of like shame or inadequacy almost always come from comparison. I feel like I'm not doing enough because I'm looking over there at someone that's doing loads. I think a lot of that also comes from social media and just seeing the highlight reel of what everyone else is doing and assuming that that's the whole picture. So if you get rid of what you think other people want or where you think you stack up in comparison with others and you just look at what you're doing from the standpoint of always putting your best foot forward, always striving to do a little better than you did yesterday or just doing something that you enjoy and you're satisfied with, it can really help to ease that self-doubt. Touching on that last point of always striving to be better, to flip that feeling of inadequacy on its head and just turn it into a sense of achievement, my second point and the easiest self-doubt quick fix for me is just to learn something new or get a deeper understanding of something that I already know. In the year plus, maybe two years now that I've been using Skillshare, I haven't needed anything else for getting a better understanding of all types of things related to art. There are techniques that I've learned about drawing buildings, for example, that I've been able to pick up and take with me and develop with my own style. And when I need a reminder of the fundamentals, which I often kind of feel like insecure about having not been to art school, I can always find actual teachers and a real class community on there to fill in those knowledge gaps. Skillshare is a website with tens of thousands of online classes that you can get unlimited access to for $10 a month on an annual plan. As usual, I have a code for any of you guys that haven't signed up yet. If you want to have a look for free, you can actually get two months of premium membership at no cost at all with the link that I will have down below. It's only valid for the first 500 people. Um, it's totally just worth checking out if you can. The final thing that works for me when confidence is low though um, is to draw the things I love. Houses are my comfort zone, we all know this, and I know most of us art people are always just trying to change things up, not get caught in drawing the same face over and over, the same bowl of fruit or whatever it is that you do all the time, for fear that people will say that that's all we can do. But honestly, sometimes you just have to remind yourself that all you need to do to be a quote unquote proper artist is make art that says something to you. Like with the first point, so much doubt comes from thinking about other people's perceptions and while it's important of course to take on some criticism in order to improve the bottom line for me anyway is to make art and enjoy making it and learn and improve at my own rate and draw the things that I like to draw in the way I like drawing them art is one of those things that 
you can't really define. It's so subjective. There are famous artists that some people still wouldn't consider to be quote unquote proper artists. So it's important to just set your own standards. And as long as you know what you're doing is what you want to be doing, then what else can you do? I can feel myself getting rambly now and going like off the point. So it's been really nice having a chat. I started this out so stressed about my hard drive, but I'm already kind of ready to let that go now and move on. Thanks for being here to listen to me ramble. I would love your suggestions on any other mini things that I can fill my little sketchbooks with. Don't forget to check out the link in the description if you are on the fence about seeing what Skillshare has to offer. And I will see you soon for the next video. Bye. Thank you.